75 years later. Joseph Biden, will you, to the best of your ability, allow GTA 6 to release during your presidency? So help you God. Will, to the best of my ability, so help me God. Celebration. Pause. Hey, this is a gaming channel. Politics aren't welcome here. That was a joke just based on what Rockstar said in 2018. If y'all enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm and let's get into it. It's recently been discovered deep inside the files of Red Dead Redemption 2 that there are GTA 6 lines of code for skydiving, free falls, and parachutes. Now, how do we know that this is for GTA 6? Well, to do so, I would need you to refer to my detailed explanation of this in a video that I uploaded three weeks ago. It's clear, concise, and it'll give you all the info you need. It's linked down below. What happened was, weapons were discovered in Red Dead 2's game files that aren't supposed to be in Red Dead and have nothing to do with GTA 5 as well. It instead coincides with a very popular and verified GTA 6 rumor. It was Rockstar testing GTA 6 weapons on Red Dead 2's game engine, and the reason Rockstar is doing this is because since Table Tennis in 2006, every Rockstar game that is released is powered by the Rockstar Advanced Game Engine, or Rage. And each time Rockstar releases a new game, that game utilizes an enhanced and upgraded version of the Rage engine. That means that with Red Dead Redemption 2 being Rockstar's most recent title, GTA 6 will be built upon and upgraded from the Red Dead 2 engine. Hence the reason they are testing things and leaving lines of code in Red Dead 2. But it's nothing that can be activated as it's only the remnants of file by just having the file name there. And no, this actually doesn't have anything to do with GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced. And there's no chance of that because the parachuting line has been in the PC version of Red Dead Redemption 2 since it released in 2019. And back then, GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced wasn't even thought of. That is only because of the pandemic that happened last year. So, the user who discovered this theorizes that parachuting is implemented into the core base engine which means that it can be enabled and disabled via the engine. So if parachuting or the file wasn't gutted, that means that we could turn it on and parachute out of hot air balloons with Arthur Morgan. So being that these animations are glued to the engine itself and Rage was made for GTA, this explains why there is base code for GTA also found in the files of these various non-GTA games. Even in Max Payne 3, before GTA 5 released, a list of GTA 5 rides were discovered in the files for that game. It's a common theme for Rockstar to do this, and the cool thing about it is, that means that a GTA 6 announcement is getting closer and closer. I'm predicting a quarter two announcement this year, between March and May or June sometime. Leave a comment down below and let me know when you predict that Rockstar will announce GTA 6. So, for the first time in GTA history, according to industry insider Tom Henderson, who has a pretty accurate track record when it comes to Call of Duty and Battlefield rumors, he says that GTA 6 will feature a female protagonist. I can vouch for this as Tom has been around the gaming community for over 9 years and he was formerly known as The Long Sensation on YouTube with over 95,000 subscribers. And while fans seem to be on edge about this, Believe it or not, this isn't the first time that GTA has featured a female protagonist. In Grand Theft Auto 1, you could choose between four different female protagonists to play as. Daveen, Katie, Mickey, and Eureka. Also in the Game Boy Color port of Grand Theft Auto 2, two female protagonists, Gretchen and Candy, can be chosen as well. Albeit there isn't much of a story in those older games, there still technically have been female protagonists in Grand Theft Auto. And guess what, y'all? It's not that big of a deal. Everyone is still going to buy GTA 6, and everyone is still going to play it. 
In 2017, Rockstar Games filed a patent that details that tagged areas in this game, depending on your play type, can be gentrified and upgraded as time goes on. Not everywhere in the game will be dynamic, only in specific areas tagged in the code. So, hypothetically, say we have Grove Street and it's tagged in the code as one of these areas. As we progress through the game, or progress through time, the neighborhood would be cleaned up, it would be upgraded, and objects tagged as new, high-end, hipster, and even renovated would be upgraded. So, it's going to be really cool to see that. This is going to be one of the most realistic games of all time. And being that this patent was from 2017, it could also have to do with Red Dead Redemption 2, as that game, for the first time, shows how dynamically improved the Rage engine has become, with dynamic areas of the map, as described in this patent, changing with time. But remember, Rockstar builds upon these experiments in one game in the next. So, it would be very unlikely to not see this in GTA 6. And here's a couple changes from Red Dead Redemption 2, for example. So, I must be annoying and remind you again that I uploaded a video three weeks ago and through multiple sources of evidence proved that this GTA 6 leak that I'm about to discuss with y'all can be verified through Rockstar Games, and over 14,000 people in the community seem to agree with this. So, that said, this same leak mentions that buildings will change over the eras, vehicles too, so older, rare classic cars get more expensive as time progresses. Just like Rockstar flashed back to 2004 in the GTA 5 prologue for the first time in the series, they expanded on this in Red Dead Redemption 2 with those dynamic map changes. And now, it seems that they will aim to expand on this feature even more by treating it as a reward system. That might be in a way very similar to the Empire Building System in Vice City Stories, which interestingly enough, is also mentioned in this same GTA 6 leak. But wait, there's more. Two other patents filed by Rockstar Games in April 2019 detailing a system and method for virtual navigation in a gaming environment were recently discovered on the United States patent website. Everything in both patents were developed by Simon Parr, Rockstar's lead AI programmer, and David Hind, Rockstar's associate director of technology. And everything detailed in the patent has to do with advanced NPC tech, meaning that this patent aims to create a realistic virtual world that is not limited by hardware and software limitations. Each NPC in the game is going to have its own individual personality in a sense. If you're driving and slow in the road in front of another vehicle, that person may get road rage, or if you're revving your car up at a stoplight, the NPC might engage in a race. Overall, these characteristics will be used to generate more lifelike drivers in the game. This patent also explains the system for virtual navigation and management of objects in multiplayer network gaming communities. And to break that down, because a lot of this doesn't make sense, but it does if you whip out the, the crayons and I explain it to you like we're all five, it means that the NPC system is probably designed to work on the cloud meaning that you will always need an internet connection because the game won't have to rely on console limitations anymore for NPCs, which is why we currently don't have insanely interactive NPCs. But with an internet connection and all of this in the cloud, there will be more in the game than you could ever dream of. This will 100% be the most real life like game ever created. Yes, there will be single player and this is probably just the future of gaming. If y'all enjoy the video, drop a like. All of this is factual from Rockstar Games. Check out my sources down below in the description. If y'all have any questions, holler at me on Twitter. And as always, I hope to see y'all on the flip side.